right, Off Base rolls on here on this Friday afternoon and some great series to look forward to over the weekend featuring some potential playoff previews and of course, great pitching matchups. Ellen, give us your money matchup. I, I don't think anything's giving it away here. <laughs> no, no, it's not a surprise. It's more of an emotional matchup than it is a money matchup. But yes, I am wearing my live every day like it's Nola Day shirt from Pitcher List. And because it is the ultimate Nola Day, we might get Nola versus Nola. Now I know that Austin Nola was catching last night, and so we may not see him today. But this matchup was so dreamy last year when uh, Aaron Nola was facing the Padres in, la uh, in August of last year. He threw gas to his older brother. He threw 96.2 miles an hour. And if the casual fans do not know that Aaron Nola tends to average around 92.5, this was gas for Aaron Nola. And it wasn't just one pitch, it was a couple. Yeah, Austin Nola went 0 for 2 with a walk last year. So I love them both genuinely, but I am of course hoping that Aaron Nola will be again victorious. I mean, how can you not watch this? I'll probably watch it. If I got a better one, I think. <laughs> Go for it. Let's hear it. <laughs> I'm going to be shocked by your answer, I think. Well, it has nothing to do with the Yankees. What? Well, they're, they're We're shocked. shocked. I am actually shocked. Wow. I watch <laughs> other baseball. I pay attention to other guys. I know what's going on out there outside of the Yankee universe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my matchup is the Catman versus the Stash Man. These guys are going to square off on Sunday Night Baseball. It's a nationally televised game, so we all can watch. And I think they're bringing back the K-Rod broadcast. I don't know if you guys are into that. Everything comes back Yankees. Um, <laughs> I was waiting for that. Like, here we go. But this Full could term. be a rubber match. This could be to sweep. And obviously, we know the history between the Dodgers and the Braves. We were just talking about Freddie Freeman. I'm excited to see this one. And like I said, Sunday Night Baseball. Everyone can watch it nationally televised. This is going to be the best matchup of the weekend. Well done, my friend. And then, and of course, maybe some Yankees Astros in the mix. You'll be keeping your eye out. Uh, yeah, that would be the fourth game. Perhaps. Who knows where we'll be with the series. X, what are we watching? Uh, first of all, I just love how Keith has no shame now. Like, he's wearing the Yankee <laughs> right? shirts. Oh, you should see his shoes. Like, he's just, it didn't really at take the beginning long. Of the season, <laughs> at the beginning of the season, yeah, it was like, okay, let's ease into it a little bit, you know. <laughs> it, it, but now it's just full blown. Next thing we're gonna see the jersey yeah, along I with asked. the shoes. Wait, yeah, look at it. No, look so, at his shoes right I, I said, now. I was I like, yo, can we do Team up. Tuesday so I can Let me rep? see the shoes. Wait, yeah, hold them still. Point them towards the camera. They have logos Yankees on them. Logos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's all in right now. He's all in, just like I am on this Alcantara and Taiwan Walker matchup. Yes. Uh, I, you yeah. cannot keep your eyes off of Alcantara when he's pitching. He's, he'll, he straight up said, like, he's cool with going 200 pitches <laughs> if he has to. Like, he's old school. He's getting through lineups with ease. I love the way he navigates the lineups using all of his pitches. If he's on TV, like, I have to be watching him. I don't care like where the Marlins are, but this dude is one of the best young pitchers in our game. And he will be in that Cy Young conversation if he keeps pitching the way he is. Yeah, I, I love that matchup. I actually pointed to that one and the Nola Nola one and uh, they were all taken. So <laughs> I went with the matchup that doesn't really have any postseason implications. I just went with the matchup that features some of the biggest stars in the game when we're talking about the Angels and the M's going head to head. Of course, you have Showtime Shohei Otani. What he's done just in the last two games alone, my friends, on Tuesday, two bombs. A career high eight RBI on Wednesday, eight innings pitch, no runs allowed, 13 Ks. Uh, what more do we want from Shohei? He went up an entire point of Fangraphs war in those two games. Unbelievable. It's and incredible. It's it is actually Trying believable because the victory. it's Shohei. He's not even human. Uh, obviously, Mike Trout is Mike Trout. And uh, if we, we can't see him in the postseason, we just have to watch him in the regular season. And on the other side, yes, he was part of Young Stars Week. J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez is one stolen base shy of becoming the youngest player in M's history, 21 years old, with 20 plus stolen bases in a season. Uh, he'd be younger than A Rod, speaking of the K Rod, A Rod broadcast, um, and Ken Griffey Jr. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of the biggest stars in the game on the field between these two teams. So fun to My watch. My favorite rookie, no doubt, J Rod. I mean, just what he's done as far as electricity on a team that hasn't played well, like it's been exciting to see the composure that he has uh, along with Jeremy Pena, like mm -hmm. to see these guys come and play at the level that they're at. Bobby Witt, like these guys have not let their foot off the gas and it's been fun to watch them and it will continue to be.